Hi, this is Dr. Manjunath, fertility expert and laparoscopic surgeon. Thanks for watching my fertility talks. So in this video, I am going to tell you about something called as mini or micro IVF. What is this mini and micro IVF? How it is different from your conventional IVF? So this mini or micro IVF is nothing but a gentle low drug stimulation form of IVF. Means to say, in our routine IVF or a conventional IVF, we use lot of hormonal injections and try to extract more eggs and we will try to form more embryos. This is conventional or our routine IVF. But in case of micro or mini IVF, we tend to give very low dose of drugs, either combination of few tablets and very few injections and try to extract maybe two or three eggs and try to make one or two embryos. So this is what mini or micro IVF. So what is the advantages of this mini or micro IVF is, first one thing is the cost is going to be very very less because we are, we are going to use very few drugs. And the second is, the, since we are stimulating mildly, means that the stimulation is very low, so there, there won't be any complications such as hyperstimulation or OHSS. The four, third advantage is, the patient is very friendly and she need not take lot of painful injection. So the patient is very comfortable, stress free and maybe psychologically she will feel better. But there are certain few drawbacks of this micro or mini IVF. What are those drawbacks? When we do this mini or micro IVF, we will tend to form only one or two embryos which will be sufficient to do only one cycle of IVF. There won't be any excess embryos left over. So if, if suppose if there is a leftover embryos that can be used for a second or third cycle which is possible in conventional IVF. But that may not be possible in case of mini or micro IVF. And even since, since, since only one or two embryos are formed, success wise the, it, it's slightly maybe 10%, 15% lesser compared to a conventional IVF. Those, so these are the two main drawbacks. And one more important drawback is this particular mini or micro IVF cannot be done for those patients who are older patients who have less egg reserve. Because if you do that, if you do in those conditions, if you do, the chances are going to be less. So who all un can undergo this kind of mini or micro IVF is, those are those patients who are young, who have good egg reserve, those patients who have PCOS condition, who have fear of needles, those who don't want to take lot of injections and who have cancer treatment and they are, means who have cancer and they are about to get treatment. So they need to finish the uh, treatment quickly. So that, those patients also can undergo this kind of mini or micro IVF. So this is about mini and micro IVF, one more modalities of treating the infertile couple. Keep watching my videos for more information. Thank, thanks for watching me.